Lockheed Martin. <laughs> What's with the weird laugh? Wasn't me. Sounded just like an Australian kookaburra bird. <laughs> That's because it's the cool new kookaburra horn of Eva design. <laughs> Sweet. Hmm. Okay, you can stop honking now. I only honked once. Haha, <laughs> looks like the horn attracted a real one. All right, we know it's your turf, kookaburra. We're moving on. Whoa, we found them. Red kangaroos. Yeah, the males are red, but check out the females. Female red kangaroos are blue. Be out in a second. I'm setting up the digital measuring meter so I can get the distance of their leaps. So Chris, how many roos does it take to hop over your head before you look up? Huh? <gasps> Three! Whoa, got it! That last one just leaped 12 meters. That's about half a meter shy of the max jump distance of the red kangaroo, the greatest jumpers in the creature world. Incredible. I'm gonna add that leg power to your creature power suits. Cool. Jumping, over and out. Hey, you might be small, but I think that last hop was almost a meter high. 40 centimeters to be exact. I'm gonna call you Hopster. So you wanna take me on, huh? <laughs> You're a tough little guy, aren't you? Oh. It's gotta practice. For a kangaroo, kickboxing is as important as breathing and eating because... <gasps> Ooh, nice one, Hopster. You got you good, Martin. Hey, Hopster, where are you going? We didn't even finish round one. <laughs> Probably didn't want to hurt you. <laughs> now, here's what kickboxing is all about. One male roo saying to the other, I'm tougher than you. So, for kangaroos, the best kickboxer gets to be the top roo of the mob. I wouldn't go near that boxing match. One kick from those powerful hind legs could cause a serious stomach ache. Oh! It's a good thing kangaroos have an extra thick layer of skin on their belly to absorb blows like that one. Good luck, Challenger. If you win, you'll take over as roo boss. Oh, and the Roo Boss wins and stays head of the mob. Says here koalas are herbivores, meaning they only eat plants. And the plant they eat the most is the eucalyptus. Really? No, Jimmy! They're poisonous, unless you're a koala with a very specialized digestive system that takes out the poisons and flushes it out your liver. Why do the koalas seem so tired? It's not time for bed. Because it takes a lot out of their system to digest the leaves, so they sleep a lot. I think I'll stick to what my stomach is specialized to eat, pizza. <laughs> Bro, we should probably take a break and eat something to keep up our strength. Looks like Koala Balloon agrees with you, dude. He's hungry, too. Oh, that's not a koala's kind of leaf. <laughs> He's a picky eater. Yeah, koalas only eat eucalyptus leaves, and they don't grow in the desert. Wait a minute. My survival pack. I've got all kinds of leaves in there. What? Why? Because I'm Martin Kratt, well-prepared creature adventurer. Ah. All right. Oak leaves. Mango leaves. Fake leaves. <gasps> But no eucalyptus leaves. Oh wait, I have eucalyptus oil and our sandwiches. But what about koala balloon? He's got nothing to eat. Then what's he chewing? Yep, yeah, it's a eucalyptus leaf. Wait, koalas have a pouch in their mouth to store food when they need to move to a safer location. He brought a snack with him. Now we can all have lunch together. Koala Balloon! Koala Balloon! Ugh. Oh, he's cute, but he sure knows how to put the sand in sandwich. Ugh. I've heard of crunchy peanut butter, but never crunchy jelly. 
Oh. <laughs> Wanna hear something cool? I'd rather drink something cool, but go for it. Koalas also get their water from eucalyptus leaves. When they have dew or rain on them? Nope. The water is actually part of the leaves. Wow. Eucalyptus leaves are a one-stop food and drink shop for koalas. 